Turbo mode allows Cascade to autonomously execute terminal commands without manual approval. This builds upon features we released previously, including user-specified command whitelist and blacklist, and model-decided auto-execution. Let me show you how it works with this game that I built. So starting with turbo mode disabled, let's have it spin the game up. So help me run this game in a virtual environment. Cool. So it'll get started. Um, so Cascade's gonna do the normal things first, you know, check the project structure, um, understand the dependencies, uh, and hopefully soon run the commands needed to spin this game up in a virtual environment. Cool. So the first thing it needs to do uh, is create the virtual environment. So I'll accept that command. Now it's going to activate it and install the dependencies. And then finally, we'll run the game itself. Great, so the game started up. Now let's see what it looks like with turbo mode enabled. We can enable it right here. And then again, let's run this game in a virtual environment and ask Cascade to do so. So again, it's gonna check the project structure, understand the dependencies, and hopefully this time, it'll just rip through all the commands without me having to manually approve any of them. Awesome, so it's creating the virtual environment automatically. Now it's gonna activate it. And then finally, automatically running the game itself, um, it should pop up immediately without me having to do any manual approval. Great, there we go, seems to be working as expected. So that's turbo mode for Cascade. Enable it to rip through commands automatically so you can stay in the flow state. Download the latest update for Windsurf today.